Hi! What's up? It's me, Lisa Concepcion, Love Life Transformation Coach and founder of LoveQuestCoaching.com. It is Monday night at 10 p.m. I'm on my Facebook Live. And tonight I am talking about a topic that people, men and women both, can deal with and relate to. And it has to do with having like no life. Like you have no life. So like what happens is in coaching, I'll coach single people of all ages. They'll be typically between like 35 and 55, let's say. Yeah, about that. And they'll say to me that they want to find a partner. They want, you know, love and all good things. However, they don't go anywhere. They do nothing. They think that like their partner, their man, their woman is like in their fridge or in their cupboard or under the bed or in their closet or I don't, I don't get it. So what I end up doing in coaching is there's a process to it, right? So let's say you're, you're coaching with me and your um, desire is to find love. You want to attract that ideal person. You have who they are in your mind and now you want to like align with them and bring them into your actual life, into your space. So how do you do this? And what I end up reminding people is that when you're on a date and you're having a conversation and the person asks you, so tell me about yourself. What do you like to do for fun? And you have nothing to say because fun to you is not aligned with what it is that you're actually doing. So you'll say something like, oh, I love to travel and I like to um, go to different galleries and I love to dine out and eat and have good meals with, you know, fun people, and good conversation. And yet you're not living that way. See, so in your mind, you're saying, this is what I would like to live like. So therefore I need to have a partner, a boyfriend, a girlfriend so that I can live my ideal life. And it doesn't work like that. So what you have to do is you have to start living that ideal life single on your own. And then while you're living that life, you attract someone from there. And so this rubs a lot of people wrong because people are uncomfortable with doing stuff by themselves. So out of curiosity, I'm going to ask all the people who are tuning in, what do you think about when it comes to rolling solo? Are you into it? Are there certain things that you would never do by yourself? Um, some people have issues with like eating meals by themselves. Like they, they wouldn't like take themselves out to a restaurant and like treat themselves to like an awesome meal or whatever. Like they just wouldn't roll like that. Um, while other people are like, no, dude, cool. Like, I love going out and, like, treating myself to, you know, a meal. I mean, I don't know. So I throw it out to you guys. Um, you know, are you into the whole taking yourself out to dinner? See, so Jen says she loves it. She's all about it. Um, you know, I mean, I would too. I've done it. I've, I've been in the mood for, you know, steak and so I'm like, all right, I'm going to go take myself out for a steak. And I will tell you this. When you um, can roll solo, you're typically not solo for long. Like, I have no problem going anywhere by myself. Never did. I was never one of those people that needed, like, an entourage of, like, you know, all these people to, like, be anywhere with me. I wasn't, like, the girl that had to go to the bathroom with, like, three other girls. Like, I just don't roll like that. Um, 
So Tracy Ann says, I can't go out to a club or a bar solo, but I can totally go out and eat solo. And uh, Megan adds, I had to get over my damn self to get, you know, to be able to do this. And you know what? I, I definitely, like, can relate to that. Like, there's definitely, like, a mindset that has to happen um, for you to be like, okay, I can, I can totally roll solo and I'm cool with it. And for some, like, okay, Sheila says that she can go to restaurants alone but not bars. So what is it about the bar situation that when you, like, roll in by yourself is, um, is like, a big catastrophe? Like, I'll roll anywhere by myself. I don't care. I'll go to events by myself. I'll go to a bar by myself. I'll go to... But I will say this. If I am going to um, a bar or like a lounge or something like that, like let's take bar, I'm doing it with like an agenda. Like I, I like in my head, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna sit at the bar, like actually sit at the bar because there are people there. I'm not gonna like stand up and just do like the creepy lingering thing. I'm gonna actually like physically sit at the bar. I'm gonna also have very open language, like open body language. I'm not gonna be sitting at the bar in my, in my drink looking like, you know, I'm ready to, like, drown my sorrows in, in a cocktail. I'm going to be open body language, right? So let's say the TV is over there. And, yes, I would think ahead to see if, you know, the Yankee game was on or whatever. And then I would probably, like, wear a Yankee hat and then go watch the game out and have some food and sit open to the people, right? Hi, but at the bar watching TV. So this says, I'm open for conversation, but I am here alone watching the game. And I have a Yankee hat. And so people might say, oh, maybe she's from New York. Like, I'm going to go chat with her or whatever. Marty. Thank you, Marty. See, now this is good because we're going to get a guy's point of view on this. And he says, there's nothing sexier than amazing self-confident woman at the bar. And you know what I love, too, at sitting at the bar? is that you can then have conversation with the bartenders and the staff and it's busy and you seem like you're part of the mix, right? And, and you're like, you know the bartender and you're hanging out and it's all good. So, you know, there is definitely a way to go about it. I mean, of course you like, you know, you wanna be ladylike about it, of course, um, but there is a way to do it. And I definitely know, and I promise you this, that if you were to venture out on your own, you would not be alone for long. You will not. Open body language, non-physical, I mean, um, non-verbal communication, physical communication says, you know, I'm open and you're chatting it up with the bartenders and la 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 and it's just this awesome, awesome, high vibe and everybody wants to be around that. So, um, you know, it's not only for guys, girls can do it too. Um, one of the things that I love to do is um, I love to um, be very in on what is going on in my town, right? What's going on, um, it, it, like when do people go out? When are the people that I'm interested in socializing with and being around go out and like arrange it so that I'm out when that vibe and that crowd is out? So you want to think about, you know, is it a Sunday fun day? Is that when it's an optimal time to go out? Like, think about the places that your ideal person would be. Okay, so Tracy Ann, I like that bar scenario. Totally. Like, I agree. Like, you don't want to walk in by yourself to a bar and just kind of, like, stand around and be like, you got to, like, roll in with a plan. You got to be like, all right, Yankees are on. I'm going to go check out a game. I'm just going to be casual with it. T-shirt, Yankee hat, chilling. But people next to me here, people next to me here, these now become my friends. We're all chilling together. Where are you from? Oh, yeah. Oh, the game. What do you think of this? And now you're in it. Now all of a sudden you're not alone anymore. You're with all your friends, new friends that you meet at the bar. So that's a scenario. The other one is... Um, like a nice classy restaurant, right? I've done this too. Where, you know, it's, um, I don't know, like a Friday night and you're working all week and you don't have a date, but you're like, dude, I wanna go out. I'm in the mood. I wanna go out, I wanna eat a nice steak, I wanna have whatever, seafood, whatever your jam is. And you just do it. You just treat yourself out. 
And so, you know, I tell women all the time, like they give me this list of stuff that they want for a guy and it's like they all want the same guy, right? He's, you know, between six feet and six three and he's, you know, I don't know, between like 185 and like 210 and he's financially solvent, responsible, reliant, perhaps even established financially and, um, you know, he's anywhere between 40 and 55 and, um, you know, has his shit together. So I'm like, okay, um, where do you find, like, what do you typically do on a weekend? And they're like, well, that's the thing. I don't really have friends and I don't really go out much. And I really wish that I had like a, a few girls that I could just, you know, line up plans with. All right. So here's the deal. We're going to break it down. This goes for men and for women. Men a little different because it's a little more acceptable, you know, for guys to roll solo. Still, it can be creepy. You got to be careful when you're rolling up on women and you're by yourself. But it um, doesn't mean that it can't be done. And it doesn't mean that it can't be done in a very classy, debonair, I mean, command, hold court like the king you are with the women. So, okay, my dad, hi dad, is weighing in. In the old days, it wasn't ladylike to go to bars alone. Glad I didn't raise you with those backward thinking ways. You wouldn't have met Mr. S and many of your good friends. Well, thank you, dad. That's very nice. Yes. Well, see, like my dad... Um, so like I'm an only child, right? So, and I'm girl. So my dad, um, at nine years old, I was going to jet games with my dad. So I learned about sports very early in my life. I was kind of tomboyish. I took an interest to sports my whole life. Um, so, you know, it's, it's good for women to not necessarily like know what like intentional grounding means like you don't have to get that into it with this is football terminology like really no need but there are plenty of basic football um you know things that you can learn online just to kind of wrap your head but we're not in football season i don't want to confuse anyone this is baseball season <laughs> we're actually coming up on the all-star break soon so that's also an okay time to maybe go out um, it depends on, you know, what city you're living in. Some cities, baseball is the thing. I know in New York, it's you could always go out in New York as a single lady and hit a sports bar and watch the Yankee game and come away meeting a bunch of cool people. Um, and let's see, what else was I going to say about the whole going out alone thing? Um, yeah, like it definitely takes balls, like lady balls and man balls too. And it, yeah, Tracy, it's Yankee season. I mean, this is the time. It's New York. You can hit a rooftop lounge. Like, you can do so much with the whole baseball being out and the whole thing. And, you know, summer in certain parts of the country, very short, very small, timing, quick. You have, like, 12 weeks before it's freezing again. So you really want to, like, think about where is your person? Where is this ideal person? You know, and... How am I going to live my life so that I am going to the places where this person is? And not all the time am I going to have three to five women that I can just call up or three to five boys that, you know, if you're a guy and you want to roll with your boys, dude, maybe they're busy. Maybe they're traveling for work and they're not around. You have to be able to um, take yourself out and know how to roll up to women, right? So... Let's say you are, I'll give one to the guys, a little nugget for you. Some do's and don'ts when you're out on the town by yourself as a man. All right, so when you're out as a guy by yourself, um, you want to like have a point, have a purpose. You don't just want to be like desperate guy looking for like, you know, two or three girls who are out to like invade them. Um, there's a way to go about it, right? So you want to be very um, engaging. You want to ask questions. Um, you want to be um, very conscientious and socially aware of the dynamic of the girls. Sometimes guys make the mistake of like invading 
girls who are truly out together catching up and they don't want to be interrupted. Like you could kind of tell that energy. If they're very huddled and they're very like in their conversation, like you don't want to interrupt that. You want to ease back, see how they, you know, for a dude by himself, the advice is don't get fall down drunk. Yes, that is never a good look for anybody, guy or girl. You want to always have your wits about you, your head together. One of the things that I will advise for women, if you are going to roll solo, um, consider having one cocktail. Like if you Ubered even, like I'm talking like have your drinks on point. And what I typically would do is I would always have like a cranberry with seltzer. So it looks like I could be drinking a cranberry vodka and nobody messes with you thinking like you're uptight and whatever and you're not drinking. They don't know your business. If you're drinking wine, that can get you a little loopy. Um, and you don't want to like leave a bar alone loopy. Like you just want to be very secure, your wits about you. Um, it's just not a hot look to be all sloppy and ridiculous hanging on people, um, trying to like be that girl, you know, that you got there and you're getting all sloshy and using guys for drinks. Like you just have, like go in like a queen, do your thing, make friends, make contacts, be a lady and no one to leave, right? No one to, no one to bow out. Um, you don't want to close the place down if you're by yourself. If you meet a bunch of people while you're out and you get along really cool and everything's good and they're like, hey, come with us to this next place. Well, congratulations, you just met new friends. So what I find that's really um, kind of sad but very interesting and it needed to be brought up is that when we hit a certain age, it's really difficult for us as adults to make friends and to strike up conversation with people. and exchange numbers and, and be very like genuine and curious and interested in other people. So if this sounds like you and you feel like you never have friends to do anything with on the weekends, you have got to think about the lifestyle that you want to cultivate for yourself because think about it. A lot of people are looking for relationships because they're lonely and they don't have that full, robust, interesting life that they're leading on their own. And so they're looking for something outside of themselves to make themselves have this interesting life, right? So it's like, I will have an interesting life when I have a girlfriend or a boyfriend. No, it's you need to start cultivating an interesting, amazing life for yourself so that then from that place of living your interesting, happy, fun life, you attract. So just one tip, when I go out alone, I make sure to let someone know, yes, Lainey, good tip, like a close friend where I'm going just for safety reasons. Yes, accountability is super, super important. That's why everybody tries to hate on my selfie game, but a lot of it is accountability. So I'll walk into a restaurant, let's say I'm by myself, and I'll snap a selfie of me holding up my cocktail. Why? Because I'm checking into the restaurant. I'm like, there's accountability. People know where I am. Um, so that's a great tip. You, you want to keep it safe. You definitely want to be smart about it. So let's see. What else can I talk about with this? Oh, for men. Getting back to the whole thing about like how to engage with women when you're out by yourself. It's a lot, I mean, I don't know, guys, weigh in. Like, is it easier for you? Like, if you're out on your own, I find that sometimes men, when they go out on their own, like, they legit start to uh, really be alone. <laughs> like, they'll be the ones, like, sitting at the bar watching the game with, like, this, you know, barrier, invisible barrier of, like, don't talk to me, I'm into this game. And, and if you're looking to meet women, it could end up backfiring. So you have to figure out, are you coming out as an open guy to meeting women or are you just going out to go out or are you like, no, I'm out to watch the game because you kind of could have done that in your living room. 
on your sofa scratching your balls. Like, you don't need to be going out. Like, obviously, you went out for a social element, so be social. How many times have you gone out? I've done it. I've seen men, you know, good-looking, like, eligible men, no ring on finger, nothing, and they're sitting at the bar at, like, a Ruth Chris or something, and they're, like all up in their food and all up in the game and they're eating and they're looking up and they're and I feel like it's because of like an insecurity thing or just like an oblivion to like what else is going around them um and I tell you ladies I mean it's like fishing in a barrel for real like if you're a single woman you need to be taking yourself out to a steakhouse like to eat something even if it's just like appetizer because maybe you don't want to do like a full-blown meat steak thing but like oysters like whatever your jam is steakhouse especially like during happy hour time like that you know six to nine thing where you got like the worker bees going to get a steak after work and whatever so anyway that's always like a good a good bet to find you know professional successful men who could afford to buy themselves a steak. Okay. So, I mean, look, I see this happen in my coaching practice often, and it's not just limited to certain kinds of people, certain ages of people. It's really difficult for people to create and cultivate a life for themselves that is exciting and fun and joyous and tons of friends and just those, you know, go-to people that you can call up and be like, hey, what are you doing Saturday night? You want to grab sushi? Cool, let's go. Sit at the bar. If you're single, you need to be sitting at the bar. I don't give a shit. Sushi place. Sit at the thing where the guy is da -da 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 -da, making the sushi. Dough. You want to be where there are people, where there's lively, where you don't want to sit at a table that puts you away from the action. You want to be in the mix. How many times have I gone out with people, girls, and it's like you go to the front to the hostess, they seat you, and you're in your own little bubble. Like, are you here to meet men or are you here to, like, talk about tampons? Like, I'm not, what is wrong with you? You have to look at every single time you are out in public as an opportunity to meet someone. And you come with that openness. And, yeah, you can hang out and have a good time with your friends, too. Don't get me wrong. You're going to be focused. You're going to be laughing. You're going to be having a good time. But always be mindful about what's going on around you. Know who's standing over there looking at you. Notice the guy over there. Notice the beautiful woman that just came back from the ladies' room who's standing over there. Like, get your bearings and um, approach people. So, I throw it out to the people watching. Have you ever been out on your own and it turned into an awesome, awesome night? Has that happened? It's happened to me tons of times especially in Miami I have had many many fun adventures in this beautiful city <laughs> with the characters that you see in the city um you know and it's always it's always been fun but you know if you roll like committed like I'm gonna go out and have a good time then you're gonna attract fun it's gonna happen you're just gonna be like I love it it's awesome and it could be anything you could be like in the mood to dress up and go out nice with yourself or you could just be like yeah I'm gonna go out for a little bit and come home but I find that there are so many people who opt out of going out and being social because they don't have those other people to go out with so I am encouraging you to go out on your own you know, some tips, all right, there's Eventbrite. You can check out different events that are happening in your city. Go to some of those. A lot of them, too. Seminars, workshops, better yourself. Like, think about it. If you want to be around somebody who's advancing in their life and are um, doing things to enrich themselves, maybe you want to check out a seminar. Do whatever you're interested in normally, and from there you'll find people that you'll meet who are like-minded and it could open you up socially. And then from there, they know people, they introduce you to people, and boom, then your person shows up. So you have to get like really strategic with this. You have to think in terms of like what kind of lifestyle do you want? Where are the people that you want to be around? Like what are they doing? Um, who do they know? And also, big one, 
If you are single and open and ready for a relationship, tell everyone you know, tell everyone, legit, like tell them. I mean, you need to be promoting that like a Kardashian with a new lipstick, honey. You got to get on that and be like, yeah, so listen, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm looking for love. I'm all about it. I'm open for love. I'm ready. I'm here to give. I love it. Do you know anybody, you know, good. What are you looking for? You know, and then you tell it, huh, you know what? There's this girl that just started working at my job. Really cute girl. She sounds like what it is you're looking for. I'm going to arrange a happy hour and I'm going to have you come. Perfect. This is it. If you don't tell people that you're ready, open for love, open for business. Nobody's going to know. Nobody's going to start thinking like, oh, it's no different than when like you're looking for a new job. When you're looking for a new job, you... My God, you write down a list, everyone you know and who they know, and then you start emailing. I'm looking for a job. I'm looking for a job. Do you know anyone? Da, da, da. LinkedIn, hi, I'm looking for a job. Treat your love life the same way. Network. Who's in your network? First, start with family. Family, they know you the best, right? So, and they know the values of your family, whatever. Your sister, your cousin. I'm single. I'm, this is my year. I'm meeting my dude. I'm meeting my chick. I'm putting it out there. Because you want, to, you want them to be top of mind, right? They, you want to be at the top of their mind. So when they hear somebody, oh, it sucks, there aren't any good guys out there, it really sucks, I went on a date and it sucks, you're like, no, I have a good guy for you. My cousin, he's single. Oh my God, you guys would be great. But if you don't talk and you don't say, you don't get. So campaign, campaign like a political figure ready to be elected you are running for love you're in it i'm campaigning and get your little constituents to sort it out for you and think of like oh i know this girl oh i know this girl oh i have a story for you about this exact thing there's a woman that i knew dental hygienist and um the the okay the guy whose teeth she was doing single and they and you know while he's in there nah, 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 got got to talking about how he's single and he's like oh it's hard dating is hard and whatever and the hygienist uh married knew someone for him and took his information set up date they met hit it off done so dental hygienist cleaning teeth and matchmaking apparently but the point of the story is Tell people that you're single and available and looking for love and welcoming of love and the universe will align all the people to bring love right in, right? So like you put it out there, what you're ready for, people listen, people pay attention, you never know who knows who, who knows who, and you end up attracting somebody amazing. So that's my message for tonight. Number one, get your ass outside. Be social. Do fun shit, dude. You're not going to find love in your pantry next to the salsa and the nachos. It's not mean. It's, I mean, look, I love, love my guacamole and chips. But my fridge, that's not where my man is. I had to go out with friends. I had to go out on a Sunday and... Be all about the social so that then from a high-flying social fun place, I met somebody wonderful. Same thing. Do not be hermit. No Kermit the hermit. You need to be out and about. And um, if you can't find somebody to hang with, go on, meet up, look at different groups, different things that are happening that people of similar interests are doing. Um, consider looking at your local newspaper or your local online thing of, what is it, Thrillist? Uh, where they put the restaurants, like the top restaurants for whatever, best margarita in your town, whatever. Go check out if sports is your thing. Go watch a game somewhere. I promise you, you will not be alone for more than 10 seconds. Everybody wants to hang with the cool dude and the cool chick at the bar with the wings, hanging out, watching the Yankees, like, or whatever team you're into. That said... 
I wish you all abundance and joy, love abounds. It's all over everywhere. And if you're single, you don't have to be, honey bunny. Get out there and find your partner. I'm Lisa Concepcion. If any of this lit you up and you're like, yeah, I wish I can do that. I wish, uh, uh, get with me. We'll have a session. We'll do a power session. I'll power you up. You'll be like, I got this dog. And then, you know, we'll see what it's like to coach together. Um, you can reach me, lisaconcepcion.com or lovequestcoaching.com. And uh, what else can I tell you? Oh, I have a little present for you guys. If you're single and dating online, you can catch my no bullshit guide to dating online, a free audio and checklist that you can get at my website, lovequestcoaching.com. As soon as you get there, you'll see a picture of me and a little thing to put your email in and you download that sucker for free. And it's got some cool insights and nuggets of good, useful tips and information to help you date like a champ online. All right, I'm Lisa Concepcion. Love and light, Monday night, 10 p.m. I come at you. If you got a topic you want me to explore on the lowdown, shoot me an email, shoot me a private message on Facebook, and I will see that your questions are answered. Have a great night, everybody. Bye.